That's my mom and I. All five with two inches of her. But a force. All islander fire and brimstone. And a lot of grace and heart. She's put up with all of my life shenanigans. Has had to put up many band-aids on all of my life's wounds. Has guided me through life. And she taught me how to dance. So much of the inspiration of the art for this mural and this film, I dedicate to you, Mama Felina. And with that, I bring you the Jackson Heights mural. I'm gonna make it look really easy. I'm not gonna show the whole journey in between now and then. Here we go, ready? Coffee, coffee would be good. Last time I was in the Philippine Islands, I was traveling with my mother. She was visiting family and I was there to start a reportage photography project. I remember leaving the airport terminal, and as soon as I walk out into Manila, I walk right into the largest open-air market I've ever seen. The sight, sounds, color, and smell of food immediately treats you like a long-lost loved one that's been awaiting your arrival. It all came flooding back into memories, open-air markets like Salcedo Saturday Market in Makati, Baguio City Public Market, and Divisoria Market. So here, I find myself at the landmark building in Manhattan, close to the finish of 17 large murals at the Daily News building. A journey I had to go on alone, about to embark on what is going to be this journey. In a literal sense, this Queen's mural is one of the largest murals I will paint. This one though is personal, an extension of what I am, where I've been, and what I hope to leave behind. <laughs> All right, here we go. Showing up the paint today. Uh, Break sore. Lights on. Ah, nice work. <laughs> I uh, just taking a little bit of a break. Walking backwards, <laughs> you can see behind me, I uh, got this new mural going on. So uh, I'm at a pretty good stage, I'm happy with it. Got this nice bluish gray background. Uh, and then we have the line drawing and of course the dark value uh, tone underpainting to really set up the entire mural. It's a big piece, uh, you can see it behind me, the entire wall. Uh, but I'm ready to go, I'm ready to uh, get back to it. Got a lot of work to do. <laughs> It was all there flooding back, the sights and sweet and strange scent of my mother's cooking, 
her slowly grating cassava, making leche flan, sugar cane vinegar, soy sauce, and pepper for slow-cooked chicken adobo, and of merienda afternoons, inhaling delicious pandasal bread with ube ice cream and fresh golden pineapple right before a siesta. All part of the experience of home then. You know, someone said, a house is not a home unless it contains food and fire for the mind as well as the body. And here I am recalling this place that now fires up the heart and fuels the mind and shapes my reason for this mural. Jackson Heights, the only place here in my home in Queens, New York, that comes anywhere near that sublime experience of travel and home in a faraway island. Now I consider myself a pretty good cook. My mother is an incredible cook. I learned from her carving a small living out of making something that made people happy. Whenever I asked her for exact by the book recipes, she would laugh and say, a pinch of this, a handful of that, and a splash of another ingredient. In a sense, it was all about feel and familiarity and improvisation. Not unlike what's happening on these walls, the culture and the character marks you, and your response is the marks you place with a brush. And everything has a tactile approach, which I love. Sure, the ingredients are nothing but pigment, binders, polymer, oils, graphite, and chalk, but the making of it, the application of it, forms new possibilities. The kinetic energy controlled chaos somehow magically, the recipe becomes something something that people respond to, something that people feel, and some love or even hate, but now born as some form of bridge between what marked this artist and the marks that the viewer sees. No one knows how long they have in this life, and I hope and trust that this mural will outlive mine. And I realize now that all I really want from this painting is maybe someone from another place, countries like Nicaragua, Tibet, Panama, Mexico, India, and the Philippine Islands. All cultures that exist in the market stalls and local shops here in Jackson Heights, or wherever it is they cross the threshold from. They arrive here amidst the Russian flurry of New York City, and somehow in a quiet, calm moment, long after I'm gone, and when they're feeling that mileage, the distance from what marked them on their journey, they see the abundance of colors here and all the right ingredients and marks from the artist and it welcomes them the same way my mother greets everyone with a have you eaten yet so come to the table have a seat break bread and stay a while and welcome home <laughs>